So here, the photographer and the, and the model are alone and the photographer says, um, here, I would like you to do something and it, you are uncomfortable, lingerie, nudity, whatever you want to call it, you know, even if it's just, um, you know, uh, whatever, whatever it is, oh, alcohol, firearms, tobacco, whatever first. Okay, so, um, and then they say, well, you know, all these famous supermodels have done these type of things. Something for the young models and even older models to be aware of is when these supermodels did those things, there were probably at least a dozen people on that set, one doing the makeup, one doing the hair, one making sure the clothes are, yeah. And it wasn't just, um, we have a term here, boudoir Bob and you the model. <laughs> You know, it's, it is, um, you know, it was highly structured, highly supervised. Mm -hmm. And yes, in the final photo, it looks really sexy. It looks beautiful. Everything's perfect, but it's, it's not because, you know, you're, and that's it. So it's okay to just say, no, I just can't, you know, I'm just not comfortable. My, you know, whatever, make up an excuse. My, my dad is very traditional. He'd kill me or, you know, whatever. You know what? And those supermodels that you see doing these things usually have prior arrangements to do those things. They didn't show up on set and, and get stunned. By <laughs> Second, you- Yeah, Gigi, you take your shirt need, off, would you? Yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> you don't even need to make an excuse, really. I mean, sure, you can. If they're pushing, you're gonna, the natural thing is to try to make up excuses, but no is no. I mean, it's 2024. Are we still saying this? <laughs> yeah. um, and and no, just because I just because no, it's not what we agreed to, and that's the end of it. 